Alright, so uh, I was recording, but it, my audio was muted, so my bad. Uh, I was just out and about doing some random missions when I got a quest saying that my SCU module or whatever had been damaged and to go check out one that they dropped for me, and we actually got this little black hole uh, generator dealio. Which, how do we reactivate it? Now we can drag it and drop it, but how do we actually use the thing? Because we can use it to, to suck up items and stuff, I know that much. Like, if we go over here where all these parts are... Let's see... Then... Place it down. Any Anything within that big old circle will get absorbed into it and go into storage. I've seen it in videos, but I'm not sure 100% how it works. And unfortunately it is nighttime, so it might be kind of hard to see. It gets fully powered up. And then start sucking in all the different items around it. Pretty cool. So if there's ever a bunch of items you want to pick up and you don't want to have to attach them to your bot, just throw this thing down. Uh, unfortunately, it was... Move these as well. Let those get picked up. Oh, I don't want that to be anchored. Just, just drop, please. Thank you. I'll have to find a space to actually put it on our craft. So we can actually do that. Oh, it actually just... We can stick it on... Oh, not... Well, I guess that's fine, technically. I didn't want it to be upside down, though. Can we rotate it so it's right side up in the center, please? No. Okay, eh, whatever. It, it's fine. We'll figure it out eventually. Alright. Uh, yeah, that was kind of unexpected. I'm gonna... Oh, hold on. Venture License. Defeat the Venture Drifter. Where is that? A kilometer away? Jelly Harvester? Alright, I'm gonna grind up a little bit more and then do this Venture License thing. And that should give us... I think licenses are what allow you to build using different corporations. So, yeah. That should be cool. I'm not, I'm not sure what the Ventures specialize in. I guess we'll see in just a moment. Okay, so I've figured out how to open the inventory on this thing. We just press tab. As long as it's powered up, it'll work. If it's uh, unpowered, it won't. But once those little bars uh, fill up and the item becomes active, we can open our inventory. It has apparently an unlimited storage space, which is pretty cool. Uh, also, I got some new wheels for our vehicle. They give us some really good ground clearance, and we can turn, like, on the spot, basically. It's really nice. They're not super fast, but they're, they have, they're, they're turning mix and their clearance makes up for it. So, <clears throat> pretty good. And also, they have, apparently, a much higher integrity uh, than the previous wheels, so I guess the lack of speed actually makes up for it. Because we're not getting... Uh, the, the axles or whatever aren't getting, like, put under the stress of the rest of the items on the craft. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, I do want to figure out... Uh, oops, anchor box under attack. I do want to figure out a craft design that will... Uh, well, he just pushed over our stuff. What the heck? Damn, he's not messing around. <laughs> I do want to figure out a craft design that can sort of incorporate that... Uh, the item holder, just so that way we can carry it with us all the time. But, well, let me just break this stuff apart. So we can absorb it. <laughs> I'll just throw that down right there. That should be good. And, I mean, later, if we really wanted to, we can, like, melt these down into items and then sell them. But, I think for now we'll just sort of mass them up. Get this back on the geothermal. These are kind of buggy. It's it's annoying. Uh, if you go too far away, this item will stay rooted, but it'll stop registering that it's on top of a geyser, geyser, so you just have to move and put it back on. But it's definitely my preferred method of charging batteries. Oh, gotta move that. Just because it's so fast. <laughs> Alright, and they're all topped off now. Alright. I'll just do this. There we go. 
Okay, that's uh I mean I've I can put it like on there. I'm not sure if that interferes with the uh with the item holders though. What are these? The the collectors. Alright, let's go after this drifter. Let's see if we can unlock a new faction or something. Cause that would be hella cool. I mean, these new wheels are super nice. Just because of that clearance, it does, we don't get caught on things as much. I mean, the downside is... Actually, I didn't really think about it. Um, these drills are basically useless now because they're so high up. I could... technically do like this. And then they'd be at basically the same level they were before, but then we'd be covering up um, a bunch of our guns and we wouldn't actually have any more clearance. So I'll have to figure something... Actually... I think I might have an idea. <laughs> I promise, we're going to get to the Venture License soon. But I actually unlocked another item when I got to level 2 with Geocorp. Besides these wheels. That is a new drill bit thing. Uh, is it a considered weapon? Yeah, the, the hammer. Let's see. What does this look like? Oh, that's... <laughs> that's massive, jeez. Uh, how would we, gonna, like, incorporate this? We could have it like that and then just poke things to the side. <laughs> hmm. I am not sure what I want to do with that. It's, uh... It's... Eh, I don't know what I want to do. No, not follow. It can't follow us. It's a base. Sure, just, just put it on there for now, it doesn't matter. Okay, now we're gonna go on. <laughs> well, there's actually a uh, red exclamation mark over that way, too. I wonder what that's for. Maybe something dangerous. We have another crafty mic we can check out soon. Just some more generic capture base stuff, but I want to get this license for sure. And then maybe we'll do Jelly Harvester so we can get more GSO experience. Maybe get a rank up. Hello there, big boy. Tough buddy. Not tough enough. I'm surprised he actually wasn't shooting us at all there. Like, his guns were pointed at us, but they weren't firing. I don't think I'm going to do this for every enemy we come across, but for now we will. Just because it is kind of bothersome to sit and wait for it to charge up. <laughs> wow, our clearance is so high we can actually go over those 2x2 two two blocks. Or cubes, rather. And there, it's activated. This is so much handier than uh, just sticking a bunch of odd parts onto our craft. Can we, can we have it on the same side? There we go. Unfortunately, the connection points are on the little uh, sort of like radar things in the corners there, so I can't actually have it in the middle of my vehicle. I and mean, balance-wise, it's not a big deal, because we're pretty bulky, so it's not offsetting the mass by that much, but aesthetically it, it's kind of bothersome. Alright, so it looks like it's just over this hill. Yeah, 400 meters away. Yeah. Oh. See you over there. I think Venture is also... Is this the one that's also kind of black and white? Or not black and white, but gray and white. Or red, white. No, no, oh, no, no, this is red, white, and blue. Okay. Well, look at this speedy little guy. Jeez. Nice. Okay. Congratulations. Venture has been upgraded your license to grade one. The following blocks can now be purchased at the trading station or crafted with the Venture Fabricator. There are other new blocks to discover out there, too. Okay, so it looks like a new gun of some kind. I think these are just lights. A cab, a block, and a wheels. Those seem like really fast wheels. Okay, we're gonna scoop these up for sure. And grab this gun. Oh, it's a, it's a fast little machine gun. Okay. What's this? Stud pulse? Is that a? Oh, it's a, it's a, it's an engine. Okay. 
Uh, it, does it have unlimited fuel or is it powered by battery? Oh, no, it, 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 it fires and stops. I'm not sure how much it actually helps us, but that's cool. Maybe there's like uh, engines or something we can use later. Or not engines, uh, fuselages. Well, just put these blocks in range so they can be picked up. Alright, cool. New faction. I really want to get uh, Hawkeye, I think it is. Or Nighthawk, something like that. I'll throw this in there too. Oh, because you can make some really dope, like, tanks and flyers and stuff with that. Uh, distress signal. Rescue the stranded tech. Okay. Wow, that's pretty close by. We'll do that. It is... over this way. Oh, so it's still taking us farther away from home base. But our battery power is still looking real good. So we should be just fine. Well, that's actually has sort of a black marker in it. I wonder why. I guess because it's supposed to be like a neutral tech or something. We'll see. Their icon is something I haven't seen before either on the radar. Alright, GSO enemy dropping down to our left. Hello, little stranded tech. Are you hostile? Scaredy cat. He found the stranded tech. Seems too scared to move, though, poor thing. Oh, is this where we're supposed to get these techs for the first time? Yeah, okay. You can see the AI menu on the uh, on the right mouse button to give you orders, so we just tell it to follow. Right? Surely. Yep. <laughs> okay, well, we might end up making a follower with the new text we just received. Uh, so we can have another ally to com uh, aid us in combat. I want to see what that red exclamation mark is. I wish there was like a map we could bring up that was a bigger area so I could see how far away that is. And we don't have any venture quests, so we can't get any experience right now. Except I think we get experience by blowing up their vehicles, oddly enough. This poor guy can barely keep up with us. <laughs> I don't know if there's like a maximum range. Like, if I get too far away, will he stop following or what? I guess we'll find out probably, eventually. Alright. A whole bunch of things there, but... Nothing we can use that right now. Or get to, rather. We can get to these higher rocks, though, because our drills <laughs> can actually hit those. <laughs> Come on. Get everything. Thank you. Well, does, does that signify like a dangerous enemy? Alright, craftiest of mics. What have you got for us this time? Well, if it isn't my old pal. Greetings, kiddo. You've caught me in the midst of another money-making enterprise. Sweet. like the sound of it. In fact, I'm expecting a special delivery right about now. Mind your head. Alright, what does he have? Show me what you got, Mr. Mike. This is what's known as a scrapper. That's some state-of-the-art technology right there, kiddo. Oh, okay, I know. What, I think what this is. First, it sucks up blocks, and then it spits them out as resource chunks. Touch the scrapper to the base and see it in action. Good, good. I'll grab any GSO block you can find and drop it near the scrapper and watch. Now we can actually. Grab something from this once it powers up. <laughs> Rosie actually doesn't have a uh, a drop coming in for that. Usually he does. For whatever resources you need. And he could use one of our own, but that's why I bring this thing along. Alright, standard blocks. GSO one block. I think we just drag it out. Yeah, okay. And we can grab as many as we need. Let's go there. Pick this up so it doesn't get sucked in. 
That gets picked up by the scrapper. Hope you need that block. Ta-da! Resource trunks on demand. Oh, and it actually gives you a full refund, too. I thought it would just be one or the other, but it actually completely breaks down the item. That's cool. And I think that's worth, even un unrefined, I think that's worth more money than selling the block hole. Anyways, I have a little business transaction to make elsewhere. Later, kiddo. Mission complete. It would be cool if I could attach... I'm pretty sure these don't feed into each other, right? Can't do this and then have it automatically pull things from the, the black hole. Because that would be a crazy way of making money. Just go out, kill a bunch of enemies, then set this up next to one of these, have a refinery, and then have it sell. I hope you guys get the picture. But, I mean, one would imagine that a black hole is stronger than whatever this is, so... Yeah, it doesn't look like it automatically feeds. Which is unfortunate. Uh, yeah. Can't right-click it or anything to tell it to do certain things like you can with the filters. But we are going to take this anyways. I should have left the uh, black hole generator out. <laughs> the storage device, there we go. Because again, that's much easier than attaching it to your craft. And then carrying it awkwardly all the way back. What else do we have? Capture an enemy base. I'd rather do Jelly Harvester, just because these are generic quests, and this is for specifics. And we get more Geocorp blocks. Not that we really care about it at this point. So this was not disconnected. Boop. This is so nice. <laughs> Love it. Alright. Yeah, I really wish there was a way to open up like a bigger map. Alright, River Jelly is just a generic quest. It's not... There's no waypoint for it. Okay, well, I'm gonna do that real quick. Sweet! Jelly Harvester Mission 1 complete. And jelly or, or Jelly Harvester 2. Okay, longer strat, a big scoop, a double plate, and a payload terminal. What is this? Must be anchored. Oh, okay, it's just another one of these, basically, but different theme. Cool. Wait. Good AI. Rental guard. Oh, okay, right. Oh, maybe... Yeah, I guess these are different. Never mind, because I forgot this was anchored AI, but you can put it on a craft. So, I'm not... sure... what the difference between these two actually are. So, I'll drop that. Uh, what is... This is just a big old scooper, right? Throw these off for now. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. That's really wide. That's four blocks wide. I just press space to pick up. Yeah. And then those guns stop firing. So yeah, with our design, scoopers are not of much use. Uh, where... There's these guys. And our little... Pew Pew lasers. Yeah, getting these, and then the, the double... I don't know if these plates have any more health per for the coverage. Like, I don't know if this has double the health of two of these. Although it does make for a bit of a cleaner design, I guess. So let's actually grab a few of them. While we have this terminal here. And then we'll scoop everything up with our black hole. Alright, it should be standard blocks, geocorp, shock plating, small shock, and large shock. And the big one block. Is that just like a 4x4x2 four by four by probably? Not sure. Alright, so we can use three more of these and then we'll have to keep these back here as singles. There we go. Those do look really nice though. Jelly Harvester 2 is 50 jellies, Crystal Harvester is 30, and Ore Harvester is 20. I'm going to do all these off camera and probably just cut in for the rewards. Alright, that's the Crystal Harvester mission done. It's pretty easy just running around, bumping into yellow blocks. The heck is this? These are the, uh, Jaws wheels? 
think those are different than ones we've had before. Resource Receiver. Maybe that's the same as regular Receiver, but just Geocorp themed. And what is this? A buzzsaw. Can this be used like a... Uh, like a drill? Let's see. Let's go attack some rocks. <laughs> oh, yep, it looks like it. Very nice. Okay. Uh, so I guess we could do like two drills, but I don't think we're going to. And what is this again? A fabricator. Oh, okay. So this is. A fair sized hard wearing metal wheel for hazardous terrain. Interesting. Okay, so it's like the, the crusher wheel, but it's bigger, stronger. Okay, that's cool. Drop, please. Alright, uh... Let's go ahead and throw these back on. <laughs> I just moved them down slightly so it's easier to mine. Uh, where is my other one? Oh, it was underneath me. Derp. Oh, holy shit, that's a lot of three-pound cannons. You have to be careful. I should probably start using shields now. Because, while I do have repair things, if uh, it doesn't repair like as, as fast as it gets damaged, it does have a certain repair rate. You can see items falling out of us because our uh, black hole generator thing is getting hit. Okay, I think we're safe here. Is our struck craft itself actually hurt? Does not look like it. Okay, I think we're good. All right, see you guys in a minute. All right, well, I wanted to do a bit more in this episode, but I have been playing for like two hours and I'm running out of time to record. Uh, so unfortunately, I'm just gonna have to sell this stuff off and end this episode for today. Uh, I'm definitely gonna, I've, I've, I've been loving this game though, so I'm definitely gonna, oh, come on, get around the corner. Definitely gonna keep playing it. Oh man, these wheels. <laughs> definitely gonna uh, continue this series on the channel. Uh, so yeah, with all that being said, take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.